Ladies and gentlemen, something a little unusual here on All-Star Wrestling. This will be a one-fall match, but a little different. We have two gentlemen in this corner, one from uh, New York City, way, uh, I'm sorry, from uh, Van Nuys, California, Sonny Rogers, and his tag team partner from Chicago, Illinois. And these two men, ladies and gentlemen, will be taking on this Hulk of a man, if you will. He stands in at six foot eight, weighing in at 341 pounds. From the Big Apple, New York City, he is Hulk Hogan. Man, oh man, look at that. Can you believe it? Hulk Hogan, ladies and gentlemen, six foot eight, 340, 45 pounds, somewhere in there. And I'll tell you, his manager, also from New York, Lester's Johnny Valiant. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now you've all been sitting down there waiting for it. Now you're going to see it, so eat your heart out, baby. And ladies and gentlemen, the wrestlers here in this corner to the left, the two men will be able to tag off during the match, same as the tag team rules, and they will be taking on the Big Hulk, and he must defeat both men to win the match. Take it away, Roger Camp. All right, uh, hey, Hulk Hogan getting your first uh, look at this big man, as many of you. He's wrestled all over the world and managed by another man from uh, the Big Apple, New York City, Johnny Valiant, who I am sure is going to have a few thousand chosen words as he approaches our <laughs> microphone area, our broadcast area. Hulk well, Hogan. Hello, hello there, Roger Camp. No long time no see. Now you see the Hulk there. Thrown his opponent right into the turnbuckle there, completely overwhelming his man. His opponent's taking a look at the guy and he's saying, geez, I'd have my brains examined for even wrestling this man. You're a bum, Valiant. There you see the man with the headlock on Hulk Hogan. To no avail, of course, ladies and gentlemen, because the Hulk is going to shake him off like a, like a fruit fly. Look at that. Look at him completely throw that man like a, like a sack of potatoes. He's got 340 pounds behind him, six feet eight, and now he's up against Sonny Rogers. Rogers uh, much shorter than the Hulk. He sure is, uh, Mr. Roger Kent. There you see him trying to turn the Hulk around. The Hulk's merely positioning himself. I can see that right now. Look at that. You're making the man mad. You never hit the Hulk. You never hit the Hulk. Put him away, Hulk. Don't play around. Well, Johnny Valiant is uh, hollering at uh, Hulk Hogan to put him away. Uh, Valiant, the manager. Of uh, Hulk Hogan, Valiant, of course, a wrestler of some note, uh, over a few periods, uh, and look at this. You see a top wrist lock on the Hulk Hogan there, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Hulk, you watch what this Hulk's gonna do with this little fruit fly here. Watch what you see what he's gonna do with this man here one time. What? He cannot be here. You are not the announcer. My friend, you are not. John, you are not the announcer. You'll have to go over in the corner. They're shagging Johnny Valiant out of the um, out of the announce area. Al Darucci just came out with word from the AWA steward that Johnny Valiant was not to be allowed in the announcing area. All right, well, you never know, Valiant. Whenever he goes, he walks in and takes over, and I'm sure he's imparted the same kind of psychology, mental attitude to Hulk Hogan, who has uh, such a tremendous... Im Impressively, uh, impressive uh, wins, string of wins is what I'm trying to say. Chuck Greenlee. Johnny Valiant is facing uh, back and forth just to the left side of your screen behind Hulk Hogan. And I guess the stewards are right in the, oh look out. He must defeat both of these men within the time allotted. Oh, look at this strike. Those pectoral muscles paid off on as he brought those arms together and rammed Greenlee and Rogers' heads together. High on the air, Hulk Hogan with one hand. That's how strong he is. He just sort of balanced Rogers with that second hand and chucked him with one. He's a big guy. Valiant pacing back and forth on the right. He gets a kick in the left side. Forearm smash, Sonny Rogers. Giving him some, oh, and across the eyes. Rogers says, if I can't use the rules, I'll try to slow him up somehow. Chuck Greenlee comes in, on the tag off. 
They're going to double team him, but remember, Hulk Hogan must defeat both men. Has to defeat both men. making a half man. I guarantee that right now. They're all doing is making a man high match. Oh, man, he's coming back in to say all you're doing is making a man. And now Hulk Hogan, look at this. Oh, a flying leg smash. I'm bringing him in from New York City, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, somebody's the greatest six of slice bread. Watch this. Oh, the suplex. Look at the strength of this guy. Six foot eight, 340 sub pounds right there. Six Look foot eight. Steel, sucks a bit. Look at the Look at body slam, and he's working over two men. A whip into the turnbuckles as he deposits Greenlee there. And he's going to deposit Rogers on Greenlee and does it. Uh, and there's a double body vice, if you will. Two men as he pulls them in. Look at this. He, he did it. He did it. Body. The body vice on both men at the same time, and he did it. Oh, look at this guy. The big man. Six feet eight, boy, reminds me of Yukon Eric. I hope you can remember the guy from Alaska. Hulk Hogan is much larger than the great Yukon Eric. But I'll tell you, look at this. Look at those Latissimus Dorsai, the bicep. Oh, I'll tell you, and here's how he did it. Yes, sir, brother, head all away. Hey, right, he picks both men up. What a dark dance-chewing man, huh? Up, picks him up. Both body, body pressing both of them. And they, they both submitted. <laughs>